Hi. Welcome back. Or welcome, if it's your first time. So I started my stream um, the best way you can do. I forgot to varnish my miniature and I had to varnish him five minutes before stream and quickly dry him with the blow dryer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, and I had to do that because I have painted this creature with gouache paint and gouache will reactivate with water or any kind of moisture so i had to varnish him quickly but carefully because it sprayed a bit too intensively and it ruined a part of the miniature again <laughs> um, but he still needs to get um, shadows and highlights so I am sure I can make something of it and I mean it's a creature his skin doesn't have to be perfect and flawless and spotless I can make it work but it's not how it's supposed to be um, today I want to work on um, I think leather work um, his bags I am going to leave these parts alone for now because I found out that gouache and a wet palette don't go well together. Let me show you. Put you aside. This is my wet palette without the paper. It's just the sponge, but you can see it here already. This is the back side because apparently Gouache gives some kind of reaction to the sponge and um, <clears throat> so yeah, my sponge is now ruined, <laughs> but at least I can turn it around and it's almost as good as new, kind of, just don't use gouache on it again. But the things we learn, I mean, how the fuck should I know? Nobody's painting their miniatures with gouache, as far as I know. I've only seen this one guy paint his miniature with gouache, and I don't think he's using a wet palette. I'm probably the only weirdo doing that, uh, which is fine. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you guys. Um, what to expect when you use gouache on a miniature and on your wet palette. So I will probably paint his flappy tentacle thingies um, with gouache. Not today, but I will have to find a palette to use or an old plate or something. At least not the good plates. And for now I'm just going to paint with acrylics. As I said in my previous stream, this was just a fun little project. I wanted to see if gouache was an option for painting miniatures and if the um, transition would be so smooth as I had in mind. Um, to which I can say yes. It blends very easily. It's a lot of fun to do. Um, so I've got an answer to my question. And I don't feel like I have to paint the entire miniature with gouache simply because I wanted to test the gouache. So back to what I do know and what I've worked with before, acrylic paints. And a welcome back a pencil Um Did you see what my gouache did to the wet palette? Or were you just online a bit too late? Because it's it's pretty. <laughs> um, I 
Ah. Uh, dripper, not liquor. <laughs> uh, it's almost the same. I have the stream of my phone in front of me, like like all the way there. And I have to read the small letters like what? <laughs> so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I did my best with my old eyes. <laughs> um But right, uh acrylic paints. Getting back to this guy right here. Um, and because I'm not proceeding with the gouache paint, I will have to find a good color for his highlights. Mm. Or maybe just focus on his skin first. Should have thought of it before I started the stream. Uh, let me see which colors I have. That's not the good one. Definitely not. Wait, is this better? Maybe, maybe. Possibly. Reds. This one. And that one, okay. So also purple and white, ivory, vanilla, reds. Okay. Uh, oh, and black, and black. If I can reach it, yeah. <sighs> I do hope I've sealed in the gouache as best as possible. <laughs> if not, we will find out tonight um, while repainting him. That should be fun. <laughs> Brushes, that's too small. Size two, one. Where's my size two? Oh, here. Idiot. Mm, okay, so let's mix some paints. Um, let me start with the red. Looks like a drop of blood. <laughs> um, for the shadows, purple and black. highlights is a very light yellow um, let's see a bit of red a bit of purple a bit of black maybe a bit too 
matsplek. Same goes for the orange. All right, I totally forgot about that. Um, this orange turns into green when I add black to it. Totally forgot about that. Um, how did I fix that last time? Red perhaps? Ah, a bit of red. Um, orange. And yellow. have not used this color for so long. The bottle is clogged. Darn. That's probably fine as is. So let's see. I'm going to start with the red. It's a bit to the side. And I'm going to add some shadows. I want it nice and thin.
that gives off some nice depth already. So let's add some highlights. Could go a bit brighter, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just going to be careful and I could always add a bit more later on. Seems to be the exact same color, so I'm going to add more of that ivory. Just a bit lighter. That works. Camera is a bit confused by all the black and whites. I do think the white background works better, so I'm going to grab a new sheet of paper. That is better. Now the sheen is painted on. Mm. Right, the orange tones. Might be a bit too dark. Well, 
or not. Looks good in camera. So maybe I'll just have to thin it down just a bit more. And be careful with my layers. You might end up completely different from the point where I'm at now, <laughs> but that's okay. quite the difference with the flat side. Very curious where this will end. And this part looks very dark now, but I need to bring in some shadows and then I will bring the 
highlights back. Let's see, maybe some of that red. is very noticeable that I don't have a steady plan yet working with these gouache paints. But that's okay. I'm just trying to find this place where I want it to be. Well, hello there. Raiding with a party of 16, huh? Welcome. <laughs> Isn't he cool? I'm currently trying to bring more um, contrast into him by adding shadows and highlights. And mostly trying not to mess everything up I've done so far. That's the main goal. And how well that is going depends on how you look at it. I mean, he probably won't look the same beast as when I started, but he will be prettier, I hope. Mm -hmm. 
The Edge Runner Mini. Um, which one? The one I painted in the previous uh, streams or the ones I've done before that? <laughs> Yes, okay, just both. <laughs> Let me grab them. <sighs> My husband had already claimed it. So put you to the side for a bit. So this is the one I've done in the previous streams. White better, white better. With a very nice tile floor where I combined the colors of her hair and her gun because it's nice and pink. And also the little neon sign. Some OSL. Oh, and the um, marber, marber, p -p 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 marmor, tabletop, kitchen counter, whatever. It's a bit Difficult to see, now she's glued in place. But it's a nice little detail. With her freaky eyes. Um, but I have also done a different edge runner paint job. Painted that two years ago now, I think. Um, which are these guys? More realistic. Um, I painted David in, what was it, two and a half hours? It was like this magical moment where everything just worked great. <laughs> And the most difficult thing about this was losing her skin. I mean, she's very pale. And David being all handsome. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Mm, where's my lights? Well, thank you very much. So it's a uh, completely different styles, but oops, keep on the lights. But they're still cool. I mean, maybe if I had a more realistic version of her, that would be cool to paint as well. I mean, my husband would totally not mind me painting more. <laughs> He's claiming all the Edge Runner minis. And I don't mind. <laughs> uh, this one has participated in a competition, so I've put my name on the side. Just a sneaky little look at my work online. <laughs> 
So yeah, let me put them back because my desk is incredibly full of stuff and I don't want to drop them. In the meantime, here's the current project. No problem. I mean, I don't mind to listen to requests of the viewers. Um, where was I? All right. Um, so the other side is still just the gouache paint. So it's, it's colorful, but there's not much depth to it. And on this side, I started to add more contrast. This is a orange, black and purple for the shadows. And for the highlights, it's a very light yellow. So the purple and yellow being each other's... Um, what's the name again? I constantly forget the names I want to say. <laughs> Um, they are each other's opposites there and that's why the contrast is working so well so not only work I'm working with um, dark and light but also the colors so a light yellow and a dark purple mixed inside the colors I'm using so that's um, what I do with most of my paint jobs and they all look like they could become or they can be from this this same world so basically my paint desk <laughs> and i really like to keep that same style as there are so many cool styles out there but i want something um, that when i look at it i know it's mine i think it's a cool cool little detail Especially when you do commission work or you sell something, not that that happens too much, but it's cool to see something and then say, that's mine. So I'm trying to make some nice blends here and there. Trying to follow the colors that are already there. And if that's not possible, then I will simply add the color back on. What I am painting now with acrylics, where I was using gouache before. Um, as the gouache was kind of killing my wet palette. So it's now nice and pink. <laughs> it's a bit too light, so I'm darkening it with some orange. And I don't really have a plan for this guy. Just painting him was just testing the gouache paint. And now I'm just trying to get more contrast into him as to make it more my style. I mean, everybody can slap some colors on, but it wasn't my paint job just yet. Mm. 
I'm trying to keep the colors nice and thin as it's easier to add more layers than to take them off. Complimentary, that's the one. I barely know the names in Dutch and then I have to translate them into English. That's um, often a um, small problem for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm constantly typing in English, but then I can think about what to say or look something up. But when I have to talk, especially live, I'm just getting stuck in translation. But I don't mind anymore. I mean, nobody's perfect and I'm just trying to communicate what I want. And if I don't know something, that's fine because like now, um, somebody will tell me, which will be very helpful. So thank you very much. Or do I want to take this shadow? And it's a good thing I've sealed in the gouache. Um, if I hadn't done that, I would have wiped all the paint off by now. Just by simply using a wet brush, it would be all gone. I mean, it's a nice little trick for when you're not sure about the layer. You can just take it away and nobody will ever know. And then when you like what you've painted, you can seal it in with varnish. So it's a, uh, it's a fun paint to work with. His skin has a lot of texture, so I'm using that in my advantage for all the blends. So just to smoothen the shadow area, I'm just making horizontal stripes with the highlight color and it will blend in very nicely.
Um, this miniature is from, they changed their name. Um, it was Lord of the Prince and now it's Rescale Miniatures. I can quickly check it, but I believe it's Rescale Miniatures and these are their own um, creations. Uh, they make entire armies in one of the same style and then the next month you get another army in a completely different style. The current army they have is orcs and I've seen some um, rhinos. Um, what was it? Uh, sable tooth tigers, like, like very big ones with tusks. Um, and a saddle and everything and the orcs are riding the animals so it's uh, it's it's very cool and originally I just wanted to buy this file um, but the file itself was I believe 15 euros for just this one but if you support them with um, 10 euros a month you get the entire pack of the month so I was like why should I just get this one if I can get everything? <laughs> I have no idea if I will print the rest as well. Um, but they are very cool. And it's always nice to have some available prints um, when you don't know what's paint or if you want to try weird ideas like this one. The idea was, does gouache paint work for miniatures? Which it does. If you know a thing or two like seal it in with varnish be very careful about it um, don't let it pool because your gouache paint will just drip off so thin varnish I think best with the airbrush um, and what else did I do Oh right, it didn't want to be painted on the primer, um, so I had to add a layer of matte varnish. That helped a lot. Like here for instance, I don't think I have done some varnishing. And it does not want to stick. so there are some things you have to keep in mind when you use gouache on a miniature but it's totally doable Um, yeah, gouache. If, if the color isn't right, you can just use a wet pencil and just remove the color. Um, and by fixing it, you have to reapply more gouache, um, make the transitions again, and then seal it in with varnish. And only do that when you're happy, because once it's varnished and you rub with your wet pencil, uh, brush, nothing will happen. <laughs> but I have sealed everything in now um, and now I can add my shadows and my highlights with acrylic paints, which is what I'm doing right now. And adding all the little scratches of You can do it. It keeps doing this from time to time. My apologies. Looks like I'm back.
I think everything's okay again. Please just be kind. Thank you. I do wonder how to work his legs. Mm. Let me see. Because that was way too dark. All right, I forgot. First, the varnish. <laughs> um. So I've got some very, very matte varnish and it seems to work. Let me show you what it will do with the gouache paint. I'm just using a varnish now and I haven't sealed in that dark varnish. See? Completely gone. But yeah, it seems to work very well on a matte varnish. Um, so if you want to brush it on, make sure to do a quick passing with a airbrush first. Because the brush will take everything off if it's not sealed in. I found out the hard way. I mean, it was very interesting to see but not completely what I wanted. <laughs> I think I'm almost there, just making sure everything is covered with that nice matte varnish.
going to dry it quickly with the hair hair dryer, blow, blow dryer, whatever. Phone. <laughs> Cover your ears. mute my mic yeah and then I'll forget to unmute it and I'm talking to myself again so no <laughs> it's a normal place to store your hair dryer right it's just on the floor <laughs> So that shadow is completely gone here. Um, but let's see if I can add my shadows now. And I can because it finally sticks. Hooray! And the color for the shadow is a light yellow with a bit of purple and a bit of black. But because it's a very light color, you have to be very careful with the amounts of black and purple. Since that part is in between his legs, I will add more shadow. I'm not sure which colors I want his hooves to be, as they are quite weird. I mean, should they be a different color, like horses and cattle and even deer? They all have different kind of color for their hooves. So that should probably be the normal approach. But, I mean, it's a fantasy animal. What is normal?
need more of that shadow color. Just a bit more black. And which way was he walking again? All right. So he's leaning to the sides. This is how he will be walking as you can see here with his hooves so this side will need more shadow I mean not too much I like my miniatures to be very vibrant. And his little tail as well. Some spots are a bit difficult to reach, but just clean up the spills as soon as you can. Almost dropped him. <laughs> I'm going to add a bit of that shadow color for the orange as I want some nice looking transitions here and there. Oops, keep my head out of the camera.
So since I'm just repeating the steps I have explained before, what are you guys painting? Anything fun? Any long time projects or something new perhaps? I think it's always interesting to see what other people are painting, what they are working on. I don't like that color. Mm. Eating chocolate will share. <laughs> what kind of chocolate are you munching on? Oh, yum. I mean, send me your address. I will come eat the rest of your chocolates. Ah, very nice. I really like the old world and nights and everything. Um, I mean, I currently have this old dragon waiting for a new paint. He's in parts as I had to strip him from paint. So that's going to be cool. Yep. It's a repaint commission from Germany. The big red one. Mm, I think I know which one you mean. I mean, I haven't painted Warhammer in ages. <laughs> yeah, I still have a lot of miniatures still in their plastics and they probably will stay there for at least months, probably years. It's terrible. Yeah, that's right. The one from the 90s. It's almost my age. <laughs> 20 years? That poor thing has been waiting for 20 years? I mean, I haven't even heard of miniature painting like 20 years ago. I've only been painting since 2015, when I was past my 20s. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I am still not happy with this. Um, so it's going to the side. Trying to envision where where to place highlights and where I shouldn't. Mm. Maybe darker, even darker. <laughs> well, my, um, I don't want to call it pile of shame. I call it the tower of suggestions. And I started to paint when I was, I want to say 23. Um, or 24, perhaps. I will be 33 this year. Time flies like an idiot. Uh, did you start with Warhammer or something else? Oh yeah. yeah, you have so many different brands now, um, which of course was not the same case in the 90s. I mean, I didn't paint back then, but I can imagine. Well, if that's the only thing available that close to home, um, I can't blame you. Probably better. Tiny and cute. Well, that's always good. Uh, my very first miniatures, um, they were Warhammer miniatures. Um, and they, it, it was the set with the five, um, what was it? Dragon princes uh, on white horses. And I really, really liked them. Um, I was very, very proud of my paint job which is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, I painted their eyes though, my very first miniatures, and I painted their eyes. And I didn't have a brush that small for the pupils. 
but I really wanted to paint them because eyes have pupils, right? So I used a horse hair, as my mom had a lot of horses. Um, just this one horse hair, and I painted the eyes with that. Absolutely hilarious. And they looked like they were spooked while being drunk and on drugs at the same time. It's, uh, it's magical. I still have them. I mean, still somewhere in the box because I moved last year. And of course you keep your, pa your painted miniatures inside of a box for 20 years. <laughs> I hope not. Not sure what's going on, but my neighbor is yelling something. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to me painting 50 layers to find out what I want. Um, were they metal i believe it was all plastic but it has been some time I, I i'm not really sure but i think they were all plastic a fellow dutchie in the chat well hello how's the weather Yeah, I know what you mean. The princess, not the princess. <laughs> That's okay. Damn it, I don't know what I want. How do you know? Maybe it was a Princess Peach. I haven't shown you. Mm. Why is this so difficult? Do the. Don't mind me. I'm not very good with highlights in shaded areas. So I'm trying to find what I want, uh, which is something better as this. Maybe, maybe I'll reach it before the end of the year. Oh, and yeah, I like to be dramatic. More stripey stripes. It's not that thick. Mm. that what do you think 
of the legs mostly. Yeah, this miniature has a lot of texture in the sculpt itself, which I really like. So I'm trying to paint the different types of textures back in so you can see it's there. I'm now glazing with a dark purple. So just the tiniest amount of paint, a purple mixed with black and a lot of water. Because I have been mixing my shadows with purple and black but I need a stronger contrast. So I figured why not just glaze just the purple and black. See what that does. I think it works. I don't like how strong this piece is here. As for here, it's way more natural. So I have to fix this somehow <laughs> think 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 I mean, it still looks yellow, so that's good. Oh, want to see the other side. I've been working on just this one side. Um, the other side is a bit more bland. <laughs> Man, what a difference. That's pretty cool. Like this better. Mm. Maybe this color. Clogged as well. Dang. Keep clogging my paint. It's probably because I have too many colors and don't use them that often. Oh, it still doesn't want to. I'm very careful with squeezing that little bottle because we all know what will happen if you squeeze just a bit too long. <laughs> I mean, that stuff is funny for everybody but me. Because my desk will be 
covered in paint. <laughs> Let's see if that is the correct color. Maybe. What? Ghosts. <laughs> well, my co-workers and I are the same. So I figured it's better to just laugh and don't respond because I will make it worse. <laughs> Not falling for that trap. We're online now. <laughs> mm, that is getting better. Even though I'm probably too careful with my layer thickness. And probably painting this leg next year, August. Well, just be serious. I don't think I can just be serious. This is a family friendly stream, so behave. I'm trying very hard. <laughs> oh, behave. <laughs> Trying to mix a highlight color because, yes, I am going back with highlights again. Please stop me. Um... Or maybe don't stop me because that looks good. Maybe some artistic stripes. <laughs> Just following the lines that are already there.
still look so dark on camera. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, well, what's wrong with me is probably the question. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop working on that leg because uh, just, just that, just. Dun, dun, dun. This one. Hmm. That part part is cooperating very nicely. Makes me suspicious. Maybe it just accepts the fact it's cooperating. I'm not sure. I like him. Work is going very slowly, but I don't really mind it. It's more that I feel the pressure of being on stream and I fear that people don't like it when it takes me so long. But I try to stop thinking about those things because I will add too much pressure for myself. And I don't know what other people are thinking, so I'm just making stuff up that probably isn't true. So just, just, just shh. <laughs> um, the black, but the purple. Well, I am glad. I sometimes tell myself to just wrap it up, and even though I'm not pleased with it, 
just because that little voice in my head is telling me like it's taking you too long and people don't want to watch it and you should post more pictures on Instagram and yada 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 oh it's um it's never boring in my head that's for sure <laughs> but the brains aren't too kind would be nice if they could shut up for maybe a couple of days just let me paint mm -hmm. ooh i do like that purple in the deepest parts i said i wouldn't touch the leg again that sounds weird um look away not watching right just quickly quickly who me no no i didn't i didn't paint that no it was the ghost I'm often too scared to add strong contrast, um, but then when I start to paint, they will become darker and darker before I know it. Which is good. Well, I can slow down your day. That's not a problem. How slow do you want it? So tomorrow on my me time, I will probably work on some other paint jobs, uh, something that I just like to do with no pressure of cameras in my neck or well, on top of my head. It's just a moment for me to shut down all the thoughts and maybe work on a competition piece as I wanted to participate with more competitions um, but to do that you actually have to finish a paint job <laughs> and I have finished one so far uh, which was in December last year I've been um, busy with other people's work. But luckily I have finished a commission this week. So I can send it back to its owner. Um, it was a Dutch commission this time and 
the owner was very happy with the results, which made me happy. Um, so what do you guys think? Different, different color of hooves or should I keep them yellow? Like it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a desert creature. So what would be good? Um, a horse can be black, brown, white, or the combination. A sand horse. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, what color are the feet of camels? Aren't they the same color as their body? I really can't remember the color of camel's feet, camel toe. <laughs> Somebody check for me. <sighs> Let me check. I'm checking for camel feet, okay? Camel feet. Google, be kind. Thank you. Yep, they are the same color. <laughs> Google said, you sure you want to find out what camel feet look like? Let me shut off your camera. Back, back, come on. Um, so a bit darker. Okay. Okay. Black, purple, that's orange color. Very interesting. Could work. But yeah, like I said before, the camel feet were almost the same color as the body, just a bit darker. So that was a good idea. They might not have, have hooves, but does his head look like a camel or a horse? No. Let me have my creative freedom. Man, I sound like a small child. I apologize.
What are you doing? I think I'm going to start a fight with my camera again like a couple of episodes ago where it just did not want to cooperate Going to make some rough blends on this side as I still have to paint this entire side. And it's easier to add the highlights on top of it. I was wondering what the time is as I'm getting hungry. But my time is set for another 10 minutes before the end of tonight's stream. I mean, two hours is a nice amount, especially on work days. This morning my alarm was set for 5 a.m. So it has been a very nice time awake. And I mean 9.30 then I have some time for a nice cup of tea, something to eat. Not sure what but I will find something. And then relax a bit with my husbands and the kitties, which I have totally locked out of the room today because the cats were total dicks. I think it's their hormones or something, but they um, try to eat each other, which is very loud. So I decided to keep them out of the room today. I like that. Just a bit darker, not too crazy. What do you think? Approved? Oh, now you want effects as well. Maybe some OSL? <laughs> Calm down. Also, it's a desert creature. Sand. If I want mud, I also have to add plants. And water, of course. Um... Maybe later. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, what do I want to do? Besides staring at it in hopes it will finish itself. I don't think that's an option. 
Um, maybe bring some details back. Also, I got the suggestion to paint his flappy hat things um, with a purple. I mean, I've been calling him the sunset wind glider. So purple should be an option. The person mentioned a purplish red here, and I'm going to a lighter purple on the edges. I wouldn't want them too light because it will pull the attention to the ends, which isn't the best place to pull the attention to. I mean, this is more interesting to see as the ends of his flappy things. Um, So maybe, maybe. Purple sounds cool. It would fit. But I'm not quite sure about the rest. Will be fun to match the other side. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a task. But that's my problem. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do with the rest. I'm getting stuck again. Yeah, that's true. And I won't be looking for perfe perfection anyway. Um, but it should be as if it's the same creature at least. And it has taken me two hours to get to this point. But that's probably because I'm talking to you guys and getting distracted by my own thoughts. If I'm going to paint off camera, I will be putting music on and just paint. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> no, no, definitely not. Wasn't blaming you guys, wasn't blaming my brains. But I have tried to use this um, stream friendly music. As I think it's nice to listen to music while painting. Um, and someone suggested to me to use a streamer friendly playlist. And when I did that, I got four copyright claims on one video and they muted the entire video. So I'm not doing that again. Learned my lesson. So no music while streaming. <laughs> Start singing. Um, any requests? I mean, when I was a kid, I was in the uh, Christian child choir. I don't even know how you call that in English, besides my attempts of just now. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, let me... Uh, Mute my microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I uh, know that one as well. Uh, you start. Maybe um, like Pavarotti. Who has the highest voice in chat? You may start singing. Life of Brian, that doesn't ring a bell. I'm terrible with names, but... Yeah, no. Um, is there more I can do? Oh, Monty Python. I, I do know that name because I've watched the movie. The movie was absolutely glorious, but I forget so many things. If I remember my own name, I'm happy. Like for real. This one time I wanted to call my husband when we were at the grocery store and I forgot his name. It's that chaotic in my head. Um, I told him 
He thought it was funny. Two weeks later, he had the same issue. We've been together for almost 17 years now. Whoops. <clears throat> but that's ju just just chaotic brain and thinking about too many things at the same time and then forgetting the basics. Like you do, apparently. Um, but I just noticed the time. Ah. And I have to go. Well, have to. I really want to eat something. <laughs> I'm starving here. Where is my... So I want to thank everybody um, for being here and just being an idiot with me or listening to my nonsense while painting and um, hope to see you soon on Sunday and I will be here again on the same time uh, with the same project as he's still not done. Uh, I will take some pictures of the results, some close-ups as well, perhaps. And I will post them on my Instagram channel page thingy. So, uh, good evening, good night, uh, sleep well, and good weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>